Support for Radio Friends comes from Columbia Healthy Smiles, the dental office of husband and wife team, Dr. Batson and Dr. Abe, offering comprehensive and customized care to patients of all ages. Learn more by calling 573-721-9039 or online at www.columbiahealthysmiles.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, August the 4th. We've got two of our friends here from the city of Columbia talking about the Como Bicentennial. I want to introduce you to Dave Lineberry and Megan McConaughey. Good morning. I got it pronounced right? You got it just okay. right. So what's going on with the Como Bicentennial? Well, this is the Bicentennial year and we've been having all kinds of great events and observances all year long to date. And we have a lot more for the rest of the year. And there were really two or three things we wanted to touch on today, if you'd let us. And sure. I, I want to hear Megan talk to us all about what is coming up next on our on our fall events. Okay. Sure. So we've had a number of events already this year, but we're going to head into fall and keep on rolling. So the beginning of September, on September 2nd, we're going to have an extension of the You Don't Say series, which is our fantastic partnership with KBIA mm -hmm. that really looks at the oral history of some of the Afri African-American members of our community. And so that's been an exceptional project. That'll be over at the State Historical Society. And then we'll also be present at a number of other events. So um, Center for Urban Agriculture's Harvest Hoot Nanny, the Heritage Festival, what better place to celebrate Columbia's history. Really? And then also a number of pop-up parks and other events that's going to let us really send out the bicentennial year properly. Now, with you don't say, do, do, will this be done with an audience? Yes, we will have an audience. And so you'll be able to kind of, we're kind of continuing the conversation and all of those conversations were so powerful and really important. And so we wanted to be able to extend that in some way for our community. Very good. Going to have a public event. So the people who, not just people who were listening to the radio, but others in the community will be able to come and hear these people in a panel and all those stories. It's oh, that's great. wonderful. Yeah. And then of course, the Heritage Fest. Yes. Uh, that will be where? So the Heritage Festival is September 18th and 19th. That's out at Naifung Park. And so we've partnered with Parks and Recreation on a number of these events. And yeah. so we think that that's just the right place for the bicentennial oh, that, folks that to be. Oh, Festival has been around for a long time. Oh, yes. Time. A long time. <laughs> I remember Cookie Hagen. Do you remember Cookie Hagen? That name sounds really familiar. Oh, she was she was <laughs> so into the Heritage Festival. And then there was one other thing you mentioned. So we'll also be out at Harvest Hoot Nanny, which Center for Urban Agriculture does. And so we're just going to have a presence there. We think it's a really fantastic celebration that they do every year out at the Farmer's Market Pavilion. And so we wanted to be a part of that. So anywhere that we can really be involved and help people know that it's our bicentennial and that it's a great time to celebrate and remember and think about our past and our present and our future, we want to be be there. I, I find it hard to believe that Columbia has been around for 200 years. 200 years. Isn't that fantastic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. And of course, so we were challenged to uh, plan for the bicentennial when in the 199th year, everything got kind of suspended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the 199th year was a year that we hope we don't have to relive again. Yes. That's right. That's right. You know, th th there are a couple of opportunities, though, that I wanted to share with sure. everybody in town. Uh, one is when, as historians, we began to look backward at the 200 years and find out what life was like in Columbia at various points in time. The, the historical narrative, who has been able to tell their story in history, has been pretty limited. Mm -hmm. You know, there are whole sections of our, of our community who historically weren't able to have access to the newspapers, right. weren't the subject of newspaper stories. Right. And so uh, here in 2021, we're, we're not bound by that. New technology allows us to move beyond that. And so on our website, which is Como200.com, or you can just type Como 200 into your search engine. On our website, we have a portal called Share Your Story. Mm -hmm. And we are encouraging everybody in town to get on there and, and just type That's in, share. How did Columbia affect you? How did you affect right. Columbia? What were challenges? What were successes? Schools, churches, organizations can also right. share their history. Okay. And so that's a really big, important thing Thank for us you. to promote. We're out of time, but you can find it on online for more information. Uh, I thank you, Dave and Megan, for coming by. Thank you so much. And sharing information about the Como Bicentennial. Great. Thank, thank you, Paul. You. You're welcome. Okay. Now I want to introduce you to Elizabeth Coran, 
who is from Stage Right Production. Good to have you back here again. Thank we took you. A little, took a little hiatus there. You weren't doing productions during the pandemic? Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I hope that you will be able to continue now that you're up and rolling again. So what show do you have coming up? Yeah, so we have a Western comedy that's called The Saga of the Golden Horseshoe. Okay. And basically it's about this cowboy named Clementine Chowder, and he is framed for being a horse thief. And so his friends and family have to go on these advent like little adventures to go and um, to prove that he's innocent. So. Tell us about Stage Right Production, because you're kind of a unique theater company, aren't you? Yeah, so Stage Right started with me and um, a young man named John Staples. We outgrew our previous theater. Um, we were just too old to act anymore. And so then we decided we wanted to direct. And so we started our own theater company, um, and we had our first show, and it was very successful. Um, and so it's just kind of gone on from there, and um, we we... We call ourselves unique because, you know, not only are we college students running our own theater company, but we also like to pay our actors. Um, and so whatever we make from uh, sales, we, we give to our actors. So do you have a specific location that you do your productions in or do you move around? No, we have a specific location. It's at um, Higher Ground Church. Um, Adam Snell, he lets us use his building, and we're very grateful for that. And so um, it's, it's, a great, it's a great use. I mean, honestly, like the facility is great. So. Okay. So if people want to come and see this current production, when is it? Um, it is September 10th and 11th. On the 10th, we have one show at 7 p.m., and then on the 11th, it's going to be at 3 p.m., and 7 p.m. So how many shows. how many actors do you have in here? Uh, I think we have about 25. Oh, 26. so it's a big production. Yeah, I mean, most of that is ensemble, and obviously, we're very careful when it comes to rehearsals and stuff right now, especially because of the pandemic. Um, but they're all doing a great job, and it's it's honestly a really fun show, and I know our actors are very grateful to be back. Uh, now, I've not heard of this particular show before yeah i i really wanted to do a western and so i did my research and our first show which was madam has been murdered um i found out that the same um writer pat cook also wrote this western comedy and so that's kind of how i found that through our first show and so it's it's really good it's really fun okay so yeah. there's about 20 some odd actors in there uh it's a western comedy and everybody is invited to attend to support this college student operated theater production it's called stage right theater yep. yep correct how do they get tickets um so you can either um purchase a streaming ticket through our um facebook page um and if you also want to see a live person show um it's going to be seven dollars a ticket and you just pay at the door okay so you oh so you're streaming it also yes well you've got all of everything covered <laughs> yeah okay yeah, and so streaming tickets will probably be around $20. Okay, so go to Stage Right Production on Facebook, and you'll have all the information that you need. You can buy a ticket, or you can watch it there. Okay, thank you so much for coming by, and best of luck. Thank Break you. a leg. We're out of time.